Hey guys, this is Ishita from I'm Crafty C and I'm back with another month of bullet journal setup video. First thing first is if you try to recreate or to like just uh, try to make something inspired from my journal spread. So make sure you tag at the rate I am proud to see on Instagram and I would love to see what you have created out of my journal. Now coming to the supplies I have used to put this whole setup together is this uni ball eye roll gel fine gel pen. I have used a white now instead of a white pen. This camel student poster colors, 18 shades. These are the two colors that I have used out of it. Let me see if it yeah. yeah. So it is yellow ochre and it's red cerulean blue who you and yes. these are the colors. Can you see it? I hope you can. So yes. For the sticker papers, I made mine on Desmart label print now. Paper. Um, it has 100 sheets for I guess 300 rupees, so it's not really expensive. And I literally just used one or two sheets for the whole bullet journal setup, so it is perfect sheet. This is something that I have used the most, and this is the cheapest of everything I have lying around, I guess. Okay, I'm just. Yeah, mine is the cheapest one. So this is the watercolor cakes from Camel. This is not a Camel sponsored video guys. It's just that Camel products are more available in India on local markets. So my tree is totally dirty right now. Sorry. Um, and the tree is totally dirty but I have used quite a few colors from it by mixing shading. So yeah. And this cost me really only 40 rupees. So you can totally get it and it's totally worth it. I have made so many pages out of this and the paint is still there so it's totally worth 40 bucks to have it. Then the next thing is this brush. Again, I that's, that's it for all the supplies, I guess. I don't use any other supplies for this one. So it's an easy setup. Let's get into the So this one's theme is beach theme and uh, the color scheme throughout the journal has been blue, mustard, white, black. I have made sure that I don't ruin this color scheme. So throughout these other colors I have used, uh, for stickers some variations do come like brown and uh, skin color but you will see that later on so for the quotes page i decided to add all my images from beach so these images are from one single day from mumbai beach i don't really remember the beach name sorry but yeah um so i thought it would be really nice to have a collage over here and the quote is you can't stop the waves but you can learn to surf. So this phase I have kept it really simple with just having some waves of beach or oh sorry waves of water coming onto the beach and making it look like that like this was my trial at watercolors as well though it turned out really good so I'm glad. Uh, I also added draw or shell moment shell is known as like I just need a shell so shells do come in this theme a lot it's free in fact you should know and this one so this is a thick paper because if you notice I spread I ended up pasting two sheets because the I'm, I'm using an Amazon basics notebook journal it's not really a journal it's just a notebook but I think 
find any journal nearby me so I ended up ordering an Amazon square grid notebook to use this is like a really nice thing you can definitely use it for journals but for watercolor like the paper can't really hold a lot of watercolor it worked a lot for me still like not every page required me to stick them together so I'll tell you that this page didn't require or lead it to the next page but this one was a full page so just in case I thought it could be really nice to stick it together and also I have done poster colors this background is from poster colors as well as watercolor so for this one I was also going full page so I thought it would be really nice since two-sided watercolor would have really uh, decrease the quality of the paper so I was like this so this is the monthly log and I just used two pieces of paper paper so don't worry for ones who don't have it you can simply write over it um, on the, the background I just don't want to spoil the background because I really love it and so I thought it would be nice to just stick a gateway to write things onto it for the monthly log Next is the mood tracker and the habit tracker. So mood tracker is something I started in my last month's journey. Then comes habit tracker page. This is something I have been using consistently in my uh, journal from the start. So coming back to this, I wanted to keep it really simple and wanted to have this uh, uh, this double page of beach sense as well. That something related to me. So I thought I'll add blue and brown the way we look to the all the months splash. This is the layout I have been using for habit tracker since the start. And I was like really it's really helpful and I don't wanna do anything else for the habit tracker, but maybe for the sleep tracker I can try something more because this doesn't really tell anything for that. And uh, for this one I have used just my stickers. So the stickers are available in the description box but we'll talk about that in the end of the video so stay tuned for that and these lace of pen having white and black polka dots would be continued throughout the journal it just became a really nice thing to add and it looked it looked pretty pretty little uh with the bullet journal for me so i hope it was the same thing for you Moving on is the memories page and the episode story page. So for this page, I have used um, poster colors, the episode page. I have used poster colors on sticker paper and then just cut it into small boxes and made a grid out of it. This came out really pretty. Uh, so the bit I had a little bit of white space available. So I used some bubbles, blue bubbles and in the corner there's some shell over there. This page is no this time I avoided writing dates because um there are some days that there's not really something to that I want to remember and there are some days that have too many memories so I thought it would be really nice to not add dates but just the moment I'm writing for the day I'm writing I can add the date later. So you can so next is the expense page and the movie struggle. So expense page is something I'm still at home for this month at least and I hope. But moving ahead with this page, uh, this is my first try at expenses page to track out where I'm spending my money, how much I'm saving and what all things do I wish to buy, have I bought them or not bought them. So it will come here. In the movie space, since I'm kind of this month, I don't have any classes or any other work, so I thought, like that's me after holidays. Like in holidays, I usually spend doing movie marathon, so I thought it would be really nice to have little TVs with beach as the background as the wallpaper, and you can just write when you want to them. Then again, I told you this thing is gonna repeat throughout. So I added my stickers along with this black thread over the holding dots. Looks like lights to me, but yeah. 
So this is something became a favorite thing and I think this was started from this page only. So yeah, I love how this turned out. This spread has to be my favorite from the monthly setup because it looks really nice and something I haven't done before. Now this page is totally from my stickers because these uh, numbers are there in my stickers you just have to cut them and place them so it was an easy spread. So yeah, not much to say about this one, it's pretty easy to make and there was literally no thought that I was into it. I have started adding these monthly calendars on every weekly spread so that I don't have to sit through monthly log for a checking through and just if I want to look at the days but even skeleto I will have to go back to my monthly log. So I try to keep this page really simple and give a calm vibe to it. Next page is again with little beaches. Few beach waves on all the things. So this is something that has become my signature in like the signature move signature creation in all my months bullet journal spreads it started from the honey one the main bullet journal if you haven't checked it out make sure to check it out um, so yeah for this uh, so that starts from there but it has kind of in different different manners come all the way this is again and this with the seashells these are all my stickers and description box have it I also did this circle sort of thing with the monthly calendar in this one because I just got obsessed with this thing throughout the journal spread. So yeah. This page is so vibrant that I love how it turned out. So yeah. Next is this page. It was inspired from the previous spread in the previous month. But uh, I let it make it more coherent with the theme. So I added like bead circles. Here I just added two circles and calendar onto them because I didn't want it to keep the page really wide. But yeah, a little color was needed to be added on the corner. Here I just added a seashell to make the top look more beautiful. Yeah. This it kind of started from a more this month spread from maximalist journal spread and then it come out to be a little minimalist thing but I loved how all the spreads turn out but yeah this one is really simple and it took me literally just 10 to 5 to 10 minutes to set this up so I was happy how fast how quick how fast I used to set this up one thing new I have done in this one and that was not in there is writing full instead of short forms I write full days so that's practically the only different thing this space has from others and obviously the color is more faded one than vibrant. Now we are on the last page guys it's finally over here yeah so for this one i wanted to have a code page so i didn't split this thing into two pages like i have done previously and the end of the month i don't have a lot to write so i thought this much space should be enough for me to write so this is what i did for the weekly spreads the end over here and yeah i usually say hello and bye to a month by code so this single thing is over here with a little wish bottle Understand. This is inspired from one of my photos that is this one and I hope it's clear to you guys it's more visible but I don't know I, I kind of laminated this thing so that to avoid photo paper scratched stitches on the photo paper yeah so maybe it might not be really visible to you guys uh, and yeah that's pretty much it for this month's spread, my journal spread.
Hey guys, I hope you like the setup so far and I have a little announcement to make. In the description box down below, I have added a digital copy of the, my entire spread which is a scanned copy so you guys can print it out for you and enjoy the beach theme for this entire month and it's totally free so you don't have to worry for the cost. I hope you like it. All you have to do for to get that is subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like it and make sure you let me know which was your favorite spread in the comment section down below. Also tag I am Crafty C on your recreated posts of these spreads. I would love to see them. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye.